Hey everybody, welcome to my show, Who's Fly in Dubai? It's a podcast where I meet the most talented people here in Dubai. I get to talk to them about who they are, what are they doing, how they're doing it. It's also an open format podcast, which means we could be talking about whatever it is. There's no certain questions and certain answers. I'm just trying to make it as real as it gets. I hope you enjoy it. Hi everybody, welcome to the first episode of Who's Fly in Dubai? And of course, one of the dearest people I've ever met. He helped me from the beginning, Mr. Faisal. Mr. Mohanad, how you doing? Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Thank you me. for continuing to show your support. Salah, I really appreciate that. I've Thank told you man. that in the past. Man. Faisal, Salah, let's just let's give you a little bit about Faisal. He is a um, director, a writer, and an actor. He no, has... I'm not an actor. You're an actor. Uh, <laughs> I'm definitely an actor. I'm a, I'm a commercial actor. <laughs> but you've done, you've done... Uh... I just did, I mean, I did like... Com- uh, uh, com- like mostly commercial pieces, you know what I mean? Which I don't consider acting at all. So why would you, why would you do commercials? Um, it's, it's, it's good. Uh, <laughs> it's good money? Or? Good money, yeah. It's good money. It's not bad, like, to be honest. And uh, it's a good experience because there's a lot of times where we film, like, in other countries. You get to, you know, you get to travel. You get to experience new things. Sorry, I interrupted you. you were no, saying, no, I'm listening because I want to hear your yeah. point of view because uh, so many directors um, don't like acting. Mm. But so many actors want to become directors. So many actors want to become directors. Yeah, true. I think they get. I think at one point they just uh, hate the puppet master effect. You know what I mean? Because uh, it's always it's always the director's final decision in the end, unless you're like some powerful actor with you know like being the executive producer of the film or whatever project that you're working on that you have so much control on the director. You know that the director just becomes a technician. If you're at that point, okay, but if you're not, I mean, it's the director's final decision in the end, you know what I mean? What did you start with? Did you start with acting and then you went, went to directing at or you went straight up, you woke up and you're like, all, I'm gonna I, At all, I mean, I started first, in the beginning, I started with the animation. Okay. As, yeah, I started with animation and then I got into, uh, because of animation, I had to do like sound design for my animation. So I got into uh, sound design and got into music. Uh, I did that for a very long time. Uh, when did you start? What age? Very, very young. It, like it, it was very. First, we started. It was me and my brothers, basically. Me okay. and my brother and my sister. Sorry, and uh, we just started doing like tutorials, like mini documentaries. We wow. did some. Uh, yeah, we did a lot of uh, like corporate medical videos. For, okay. Uh, yeah. For uh, for our both of our our parents are doctors, but they always wanted like these me- corporate like medical videos on so lectures, you guys were doing that so we were doing it for them that's you know crazy. what i mean and we we, we were doing uh, that's why i said i said animation because like animate we ad- we would have animated their presentations or whatnot and okay. it would have been a video rather than a just like a traditional okay. presentation okay. and what was right? your role between like your brothers it, and your sister what were you doing and what were they doing we uh, no we it, we were all like animating and uh, there was no divided like work. We'd do the concept and then we'd like, uh, you know, execute it together. Okay. Uh, no specific role, like for each person, just like, you know, you know, we were kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. But then it just really went on from there. Like from animation, from 2D animation, we went to 3D animation, CGI, and then from 3D animation, CGI, because, you know, you work with models. Uh, you know, graphic models, and then you need to put textures on that. So we were like, okay, we need to take real life photographs so okay. we can use them as textures. And then we went into photography. And then after photography, we went into video, you know, ed- like we needed to edit those photos and whatnot. And then, and then I got into editing for a very long time. And then from editing, it's just, you know, when you get into editing, class, you just, you want to shoot your own stuff. You don't want to edit someone else's shots. You know what I so mean? So animation is out of your and scope of work right now is not something you... No, I really love animation. Like, when, when we do a TV show, when we do a... W- whatever we do that requires, for instance, like a title sequence that requires a short bit of, like, animation, I really get my head into it. And I know how to use After Effects. I'm not that great, but, okay. like, I know how to use After Effects, and I like to get into the animator's head, and, like, we talk very detailed stuff. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think animation is a very big... Uh, it's a big, big booster for any director. As I said, animation is great. I wish I can see more of it in, in this region. Uh, maybe they should develop it more. Maybe people should really pay attention to it. It, it, would, it would look cool, something to do with the, 
with the culture here or the heritage of, of Dubai to do, to do a small series about it. That would be really fun. But what do you think of the uh, movie industry in this country, in, in Dubai? Like, what's your thoughts on it? Because I'm an actor here and I, I feel I have a better chance, if, if I, like more than LA, because there's so many, it's saturated over there, so many actors, so many yeah. things happening. But here, you don't get to have a lot of movies, you don't have to get a lot of productions. Yeah. What do you, what's, what's, the, what's the reason why is it not happening a lot? What, what do you think? I think because I think uh, there isn't really an industry. Like, it's still not there. It's just at its baby or like it, at its infancy. You know what I mean? It's still, we still have like a lot of years ahead of us, like a lot of decades ahead of us to even make an industry. You know, take Egypt, for example. There is, that, that's an industry or Bollywood or, or the French cinema or, you know, obviously in the States. Here, it's really, really not nothing. Like, it's maybe 0.001% of that kind of industry. You know well, do you what think mean? Saudi Arabia it, has opened this, changed the market? Or? Yeah, uh, yeah, I think it's a game changer right now. I think maybe big, big game changer, big game changer. There's going to be a way more competition, obviously. Competition? Competition, yeah. yeah. How? Uh, because they're starting to get... Uh, Who are they going to compete with us? I mean, like... I mean, the, the, these, you know, neighboring countries were okay. just going to compete with each other in, in the cinema, cinema world. Okay. Uh, they have a lot of talented people, a lot, a lot of talented people. I know a lot of talented filmmakers, okay. Saudi filmmakers. Okay. And then it's just going to be, you know, it's going to be a, a nice, you know, healthy competition. It's not a bad competition. Okay. Because it's a good but competition. since you said there's not much happening here. I, I think, uh, yeah, because... So how are they going to compete since there's not much happening? But, no, I mean, because I, it's going to be a race. That's race. what I mean. That's what yeah, I mean. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be a race. I think yeah. it's going to be a nice, healthy race. Yeah. It's good. Uh, why I say there isn't really an industry here is just because that the, the, there isn't that full, or maybe at least people don't know that there isn't that full package where it starts from the the concept to the writing to the to okay. the producing to the to the production itself to the post production to the distributing. There we there isn't one tent where all of that is happening. It's very segmented. You know what I mean? It's very segmented. There's a, uh, these entities aren't really tied up. You could do it. You, you, could, you could make it happen, but it's, a little, it's very segmented. You know what I mean? Uh, and and, and, and uh, another reason I say that, it's just because um, audience members aren't, uh, you know, uh, I say this word a lot, formatted to, to watch, to go to the cinema and watch an indie or independent film made in the in the region. They'd but, rather watch a blockbuster. You know what I mean? 100%. Which is a great thing. Which I, is I agree hundred percent. But when you're talking about the movies are being produced in this country, or, yeah. or, or the competition between here and Saudi Arabia, are you talking about Arabic movies or Khaliji movies? Which is a no. GCC I, I'm just saying in the, the movies that are made in the region. I don't. So it could be in English. Could be in English. Could be in French. Could be in Arabic. You know what I mean? It doesn't but matter. Let's be honest for a second. Yeah. As an actor, and I, I think. Uh, I have this always this question: Why would anybody care about the uh, English language productions mm. in the UE? I mean, mm. you've got America for that, yeah, yeah, that's UK it. for that. Yeah. Why I feel like it's my own opinion, and I I just don't understand why it doesn't happen. Why the people in this country are not doing more Arabic content? Yeah, Arabic movies. They they focus more in uh, in English. Yeah, even 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 uh, the ones who are not Arab. I feel like mm. you. As a director, let's say you're an Indian director, Pakistani director. Yeah. You, you don't even speak Arabic. You have a story in your head. You want, you want to produce it. You want to go to India. You want to go to LA. It's saturated. So many people are doing the same thing over and mm -hmm. over again. But if you come to Dubai and you do it in Arabic, you stand out. It's the same story. But I mean, you stand out. You might, you might get a Netflix deal. Let's say it's not going to go to the movie, but you might get a Netflix deal. I feel like... People are not really paying attention to the Arabic language, which is there is more than one billion Arabs. Yeah. Netflix is, is kicking in, and and and, yeah. and every house, everybody has a Netflix account now. Mm. Why? There's nothing really happening in Arabic. It just drives me crazy. Why do you think that? No, I think I think uh, I I don't want to say that we have like a bad rep with when it comes to to making films. In this region about this region with the region's language but we we don't have a great rep you know what i mean uh maybe there was a couple of movies that came out and then just people mm. okay this movie is made here by 
you know, uh, by, by, yeah, with this language and such. Nah, I'd rather watch something made, like, professionally, you know what I mean? I'd rather go, with, you know, spend two hours of my life watching something that was done and I'm sure that it's 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 going to be great. It's a good, it's going to be a great experience. I just feel like the rep is. I don't think it's the rep. I would disagree with you here mm. because people will always follow the one percent. People will always mm. support the one percent when it comes to sport and music, and yeah. whatever it is. There's so many rappers, but for some reason, Kendrick Lamar and J Cole, everybody follows them. But there's so yeah. many people who do the same exact style, but maybe better. But nobody pays attention to them yeah. because they're not the one percent. I've read that, and uh, Dr. Jordan Peterson is a psychologist and spoke about how people will always support the 1% and watch the 1%. It's not the 1% here in this, in, in this scenario mm. that the content that comes out from the GCC, let's say, it's not the 1%, it's not the top 1%. Mm. It, some of it good, some of it bad. I get what you're trying to say, bad trip. But they could, they could forget about that and really for example i don't know if you've seen this series called um money heist the spanish yeah, series yeah. on netflix i have yeah, yeah do you like it yeah yeah everybody like, loves it yeah. everybody loves it it's yeah. in spanish they didn't care they went all the way in uh, some spanish culture but it was very relatable to everybody yeah uh, people related to that and and they kept their culture and yeah i feel like we could do the same thing here yeah it should be done we, we can do the same thing here we can get arabic actors to do mm. something and, and people will relate to it should I mean, be done we don't we don't, we don't have but to it go. should be solid that's what i'm saying like it should be solid like at least story-wise concept-wise yeah uh you know what i mean it should be very solid it should have like a really strong backbone the idea that's what i'm that's what i'm trying to say is like it needs to really stand out like it, it, it needs to be a unique idea but yeah. that everybody could understand you know what i mean so that's 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 what I'm trying to say is that like when I say when I said bad rap, I just feel like with what came out or what what is coming out, you know what I mean? It's not really the best uh, image or what could be shown. Like when you say La Casa de Papel, yeah. you know, it's uh, it's La Casa de Papel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, like it's a solid idea you know what i mean with solid acting with solid production solid cinematography that's an idea it's not it's not that it's not that out of the world no it's, it's not just, it's not yeah, but it's presented in an amazing way the characters yeah it's they deep. went really deep it's very character. deep you hated somebody at the beginning and then you start really yeah. connecting to the bad guy and you're like oh yeah. you're rooting for them to to actually yeah. escape like narcos like like what is rooting like for. house of cards yeah why we're not doing the same thing like yeah. this is the trend I, i'm sorry to say but this is the trend right now like i think writers are trying to focus more on turning the bad guy uh people to support yeah. the bad guy the the the, the, the hero guy. villain yeah yeah this is this is what's going on right now i feel like the arabic writers and uh, the arabic production is sorry to say just way behind it's it is it stories. is way behind yeah in beginning middle and end that's it yeah it's, it's very predictable very predictable nothing is happening and I don't know why, like why people are not just trying to team up together. Yeah. Shoot something as a pilot, pitch it to Netflix. Yeah. Guys, we, we, we upcoming rising directors and writers. Here's our idea. Yeah. It's very hard. It is very but hard. I don't know. Like, how, have you have you tried to do something to pitch it? We to? are trying. We're trying to do something. We're trying to do something right now for that. Like, the, it's the exact same approach that you're saying. You know yeah. what I mean? The new wave of uh, Netflix and whatnot and that you know m you know mini series idea or whatever it is you know what i mean because i it is the future you know what i mean it is it's the now and it's can it's you the approach future. netflix as, as somebody who lives in dubai can you like hey, hey guys he's he's an idea is I, it, is I, it I, easy i think netflix is the is halfway when uh i mean you do you either do a really good pilot and then you sell the whole you know but you have to have something done i think that's that's what it but i felt like i tried to read about uh, online of yeah how, how can you send them something is yeah. it feels like you have to have do you have to know yeah. a person who i don't know it got complicated like you have to work with a person who already works with netflix sometimes they yeah. can't just like hey netflix he, here's here's a pilot that i've shot i would like i want to see if you're interested or not it's not as easy as oh, that. okay that's i don't know but i feel like even like getting to netflix is hard mm. but i feel i don't know but netflix should pay attention to to this region should mm should really yeah, yeah, invest yeah. yeah yeah they should i mean uh, there isn't much arabic content in netflix no, a couple of things a couple of yeah yeah and like but 
okay, I, I wouldn't watch it. And I'll be honest, I wouldn't watch it because there's not much of a choice. Like, here's the two things. Yeah. Out of the million things on Netflix, I, uh, like, you know what I mean? Like, you go into generals and like, okay, I can pick this or that. But here's two Arabic, uh, whatever, movie and a series. I'll, I'll skip. Yeah. Because it didn't grab my attention. It didn't, it didn't seem like something I would watch. But not because I didn't watch them. I wouldn't watch anything Arab. Like, I don't know what's going on with the executives of Netflix. I don't know what they're thinking. But I feel like they really... Uh, they really should step it up. Otherwise, uh, mm. what's going to happen? Another uh, American series, another hit. Uh, if something comes like Money Heist, which is Spanish, got yeah. the whole world. If something Arab comes, it will also get the attention because people yeah. are, you mean? But it should be rock solid. That's what I'm saying. should yeah. be done like... But if Netflix yeah. is behind it, I'm sure they will, they will try their best to, uh, <laughs> to make sure it doesn't yeah. screw up. You know? screw up yeah, 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 they, yeah, they will try their best. Like, they will make sure that, okay, if it's Netflix production because they don't want to ruin their name. I don't know. I, I feel like there should be there should be something. Mm. There should be something. Even even I was thinking about this uh, the other day. Even if, if you're a producer in, in, in LA, you know what I mean. You, you you big producer, right? Yeah. Why you keep focusing on what's happening? Like I mean, I know it's it's good money, mm. but I feel like really like since Saudi Arabia opened the doors on the cinema and they're trying to do something, people should invest here. Yeah. What's going on? Mm. Like, uh, look at us. Uh, we're both Arabs, and uh, we speak English. Uh, you're a director. I'm an actor. We could relay. We could. We we watch. We we following the trends. We understand stories. We can, we can do. And and there's other people who are like this in the, this region. There's so many people in Dubai, who's flying in Dubai. There's so many people who can do this yeah. job. <laughs> who can write. Who can yeah. direct. Who can. But for some reason, like, mm. and it's just sad because I feel like, like they're not moving with the time. I've. Uh, look, I think it's the mass that should also come and like give a hand to these, yeah, uh, to the idea. You know what I mean? Uh, we need to like a little bit brainwash people into like accepting these ideas, into accepting go- like I you know, I'll go to the mall. I'm gonna watch an independent film, or I'm gonna go to the mall, uh, or whatever. I, I'm gonna tune into Netflix and watch an indie production. When I yeah. say indie, it's this idea that you're talking about. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like to give people a chance. You know what I mean? Because it's it's all ab- it's all about the audience giving <laughs> his time, yeah, yeah, yeah. allocating two hours of their life to watching, and then accept, and then they will like it. Like you said, if it's a unique idea, they'll like it. You know what I mean? But it, it it's. It's that that idea of like, all right, I'm gonna watch a blockbuster because I know it's for sure uh, it's gonna it's gonna satisfy you know yeah, m- yeah, uh, yeah my viewing pleasure. You know what I mean? Because I know it's gonna be it was well done. You know what I mean? But I, I think the solution is just for these writers or us, the writers or directors, just to put in the time, to put in the work, into developing an idea. It's just put in like allocating you know a year and a half or two years, whatever, into developing. A really solid idea, no matter what it takes. You know what I mean. Yeah. So when it comes out, it's really it's enjoyable. You know what I mean. So I just think it, it's just about us putting in the work. It's like you, your idea. You know what I mean. You just you put in the work. You wanted to make a who's flying Dubai. You know you have an idea. You want it to be an open format. Uh, yeah. Whatever. You, you don't care. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? Yeah. You know what I mean. You you went for it. Yeah. You don't know what, if they're going to like it, if they're, if they're not, if they're not going to like it. You know what I mean? But you went for it. You know, you're going to test it out. It's the same thing with us. I think it's the same thing with us. Just going for it. But, yeah, uh, you know, just giving that 150%. I mean, again, uh, I don't think it's, it's the lack of talent. I don't think it's giving you 150%. I, I mm. think it's a mix of both. Like, mm. people from Netflix, executives. Yeah have to give somebody a chance not because they have to be politically correct and give arabs the chance 100 percent no yeah. I, I think uh, if you're if you're if you're good at something it doesn't matter where you're where you're from what's your gender if you're good at it then you should get a show whatever it is yeah. but i feel like there is enough arabs that would consume that content mm-hmm. and there's really good arabic stories uh, there's really like we we have different cultures like the middle east itself uh, so many different cultures and so many like and depth things that people can relate to these things. It's just not, it's not, it's not, it's not that simple. Like it, it could be really deep. Yeah. It could be interesting, but nobody, as he said, paying attention. Yeah. Attention. Because they think there's no money. Like, I don't know if it's money thing or I don't know what it is, but there's definitely, I a hundred percent 
assure you that if there's a good Arabic series, yeah, people will watch it. People will. will watch it. Yeah. Because people still watch Arabic series anyway. Like my parents, I'm sure your parents, everybody w- goes home and watch Arabic series. We, we, I'm, I'm, it's not, I don't watch any Arabic series anymore because it's getting repetitive. I don't know. It's getting me. repetitive. All the same stories. But there has to be, there has to be somebody like Netflix who they can come in and it's not, I'm not talking about big broadcasters that, uh, you know what I mean, they want to keep doing the same thing over Ramadan, just people can watch. I'm talking about Netflix. They can do some nice action genre, some nice Arabic action. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just don't know why is it not happening, especially with Saudi Arabia. I don't know why. Maybe it's going to happen. Blame Netflix. No, I'm not blaming Netflix. <laughs> they must know better. I mean, I don't know. I don't know, yeah. <laughs> I don't know anything. Yeah, but yeah. there must be something that I'm, 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 like, I'm watching the market and I'm unable to figure it out. I mean, me too. I'm a bit lost when it comes to, especially the big uh, Netflix. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know what's the approach, really. Yeah. I don't know okay. what's the approach. Like, I wish somebody could just answer. And, uh, please, guys. Please, Netflix. Like, give him a call. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a call, yeah. Ah, that's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Ah, right. I'm, I'm sure uh, as a director and a writer, you know what I mean? Like, you're excited because you're young and you're right, but mm. honestly, when you hit a certain age sometimes... And Survival you know, mode. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, well, what are you going to do? You, you might just you work for some, some, some silly show. Someone has to pay rent. Yeah, just direct uh, some kids show. Just, oh know. my God, no. But I mean, like, what are you gonna do? <laughs> no. What are you gonna do? If, no, you, no. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully I mean, nobody not. wants to do that. But I'm yeah. sure, like, what are you gonna do? Yeah, yeah. If, you're gonna if, be pushed to that corner. Are you gonna invest your own money to? I mean, we have, we have, we have <laughs> you have done. That. I mean, we have done it a lot of times. Yeah, I mean, m- most of our indie productions. Yeah, that show reel that you. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, I'll, I'll, I'll link know. it up below. Yeah, it, it it's. Out. I mean, it's most like I think ninety percent. It's like in indie work. Docu- documentaries and fictional pieces so we have mo- most of the time we have like just it was just self-funding you know what i mean i, don't I mean that's how it starts with, with, yeah. with everything yeah yeah i, I think I the first it. movie that yeah. you make the second the third the fourth is just you you know it's just i mean it's your funding and then people give you and give you a chance uh who gives you a chance? Whoever gives you a chance could be a, a but what's your end goal are you are you trying to write something in Arabic like we have written, we have written some, we wrote two scripts, uh, two new scripts. Okay. And then it's, it's, it should be, uh, it's not a crazy, what I mean crazy, I mean it's like, so Can you talk about them? I don't want to talk okay. about the, the but, but I mean, so, soon you will, I'll send you the script actually. Uh, okay. You have a read. Is uh, that like for a feature film or? There is a feature film and there's a short film. Okay. And, uh, uh, both, uh, b- both. I mean, you know, based here. You okay. know what I mean. And uh, Arabic. Uh, yeah, Arabic. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Arabic. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Keeping it, keeping it. Keeping what, what's it the Arabic. genre? Uh, it's like drama. Drama. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Come yeah, on, yeah, you're better yeah. than that. <laughs> yeah, I'm dramatic. Yeah, I'm a dramatic person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drama. You Why know. There's no action. Oh, action! Yeah, yeah, we action. Why there's no action? There, I love there, action. Man. There is the the Weird. when you do action, you got to do it right. That's like action is pretty. Uh, you got to do. Yeah. You know, you're like uh, your set has to be, you know, with the stunts and whatever you know, yeah. or whatever your CGI if you're going down yeah. there, you know, it has to be done perfectly because action has such a standard worldwide that you don't want to under. You know, you don't want to. You know what I mean? It's especially it's if not, you're investing your own money, you can't do much. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean. You need the uh, you need a bit of air support when it comes to action. But w- what about like the money heist idea? Yeah. Okay, uh, thriller action. Yeah, uh, thriller but, is nice. But again, the whole idea behind behind such a show is uh, is the uh, uh, the beauty of, of writing. Yeah, the beauty of of it th- is. the twists and what are they gonna do and how they're gonna solve yeah. it and how is how is the professor gonna negotiate with the people. So it's, it's all about spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'm someone sure, didn't watch it. I'm sure everybody sees it. No, <laughs> come on, man! Spoiler alert. Yeah, but I'm saying, yeah, sorry, but Saraha, it's just the fact that the negotiations yeah. was like kept you on your toes. Yeah, it's, but like, I mean, I mean, like you're, they're not spending on on cars flying and exploding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm saying, I'm saying we really should Thriller. do that. Yeah, and then blame Netflix. And then blame Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> For the time being, we haven't we haven't wrote, in, but we, l- we look at it. But maybe we can we can start. Yeah, yeah. 
We should we should start as I think as Arabs if if you want to move and, and get in the right direction mm. and and get mm-hmm. the Netflix call yeah we have to write something similar yeah I, people love these shows people love, there they was do, a good yeah. English series uh, was called uh, Hustle Hustler I don't know if you remember Hustler Hustler is it okay wait let me look let me look it up who who's acting in it I don't remember the act Hustlers Hustler English series. Hustle. 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 All right. Okay. You need to check it out. It's quite old, but so, you know, English, I mean, it's a little bit slow. Yeah. (laughs) They're like Arabs. (laughs) Whoa, 8.2. Yeah, it's it's actually, it was, it used to be my favorite. I I still love it. Especially the first two, three seasons. Yeah. Fourth season, not so great. First two seasons is just, they're hustlers. They they they're trying to uh, steal something, but they play it like they're five six guys, and they mm-hmm. everybody has a role, mm-hmm. and everybody thinks of a way to. You know what I mean? Like everybody has a role in 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 this in this theft. Like yeah, you know, you know what I mean? And I'm not gonna really spoil this because I really urge everybody, even the Arabic people watching it now, you need to go from the, and learn from this show. Yeah. Uh, I think art, uh, the, 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 there's nothing really original. There's a book about that. There's nothing really original. It's just the fact that you build up, you know I mean, you find something and you build up to it. There's yeah. nothing really, there's no original thought. Everybody, everything comes from something else. Yeah. People really w- watch that series because it's just so like simple. Like they're just mm. showing you the powerful of writing and the powerful like of that person's brain and how is he so smooth and how are they like, there's nothing really in terms of, action and just exp- nothing yeah. exp- it's just simple how they come and steal something from you because because of something they said or somebody passed you know what I mean all of these things I'm, I'm not gonna go ahead and ex- explain anymore but this is what I'm talking about yeah writing uh, to get into something that you don't have to spend a lot of money doing it but yeah. you have to get a good cast to just be smooth yeah do it yeah I mean like That's James true. Bond for example my, my yeah, favorite right. character my yeah favorite. Not the current one. I'm sorry to say, I don't, I, I'm not ha- really happy with his performance. Yeah, <laughs> but James Bond. <laughs> yeah, James Bond. Jen is just is, yeah. he adds action, but it's just the character. It's what made James Bond. It wasn't the action that was happening, and, it, and it's always about they they don't really judge the movie as much as they judge James Bond himself. Mm-hmm. They judge him like how did he did he act James Bondy enough? Yeah. Was he smooth? Was mm. he a woman? You know what I mean like it's just the character and and the writing of how he approached yeah. the girl in the bar and his how, charisma. Yeah, and how he was so smart to get out of a situation. Yeah. That, okay, he got the amazing device. Yeah, no one really cares about the plot because it's always about one bad guy yeah. trying to mess up the yeah, world yeah. and then but James Bond fixes it. Yeah, seeing it's that the cool character just coming. It's in. about his swag. Swag. Yeah. Hundred percent swag. Hundred yeah. percent like wittiness and smartness and how he managed to get mm-hmm. out of situations that's i think that is the beauty yeah. of writing it's just Character yeah deep. you can repeat that till the end of the world and now people will still watch it yeah people still watch james bond is still james bond james bond people yeah, yeah, still bond, yeah. I mean, people go crazy and yeah. it's the same thing. people know exactly what's gonna happen he's never gonna There's die no way that he's gonna <laughs> <laughs> i don't think he's yeah. ever gonna max out yeah. i mean the opposite of james <laughs> bond the it. same thing is tom cruise in mission impossible i love that guy i love i love, I love the the action and that thing yeah but this is, is actually as you said this is too expensive yeah. this, this is gonna be like need somebody like <laughs> yeah proper production team big and, budget yeah where's the budget so this is what your thoughts on on why this is happening and i just think it's yeah uh, okay, after what we spoke right now, what do you think? No, I think, like, like I said, is I think it, we is need it, to. Is I, it people? I, I think it's. The, I, I blame the writing. I, I blame that nobody's really trying their hardest because yeah. I don't think people people are worried about the same say, same thing over and over. Yeah, but nobody's gonna take uh, our script. Nobody's gonna buy our script. Nobody's gonna develop mm-hmm. it. Nobody. Yeah, I, you're right. I think it's eight, it's eighty yeah. percent writing and it's also twenty percent just the audience members accepting this kind of format. I t- I, t- I really I still think that. Uh, you know, like not people don't just not not any regular joke goes to a film festival, for instance. You know what I mean? Not a, not not everyone is interested in the. You so know you're what saying I mean? if you if there's a but I know that a, a, like most Emirati films, yeah, people go watch them, especially the Emirati. Do they? Yeah, 
like I mean like even if, like it will go to Saudi Arabia right now and and people will watch that in Marathi film. Yeah. So do you think that No, I don't, don't think I don't think the people that, uh, there's not enough people that watch. It. Yeah, definitely 100%. I'm sure that uh, if it goes to the cuz I've been to every single Marathi film and it's it's always Empty. like there's like 10 20 people in the cinema, you know what I mean? I and it. the movie just came out yesterday, you know where it should be at the hype, you know what I mean? I just I just like I said. But one of them got to two the two of them got to Netflix. Two right? of them got to Netflix, yeah, the Which ones? City of Life? No. No, no. Was it? City Maybe. Of Life? No, I think it's Zanzana. Zanzana. That's for sure. Yeah. And there's another one, Hajwala. Hajwala. Yeah. But how great is that? I don't know if they're doing well in Netflix, but I'm saying they've gone to Netflix. Netflix. What do you mean? Like Netflix approaching these films? Or yeah. Look, they, hmm. they I think it's great in the, uh, that Netflix uh, yeah, bought that these shows films. shows that they have yeah, interest. That's yeah. amazing. I think that's one of the best things that happened, that Netflix is buying such and such uh, you know, films made in this region you know what i mean no matter what the you know whatever the films were about uh, i think it's great that netflix opens it opened its doors you know what i mean i think it's a very good like light at the end of the tunnel uh goes back i mean to to what you said i think it's our turn to like develop these ideas and make them happen i i feel like <clears throat> i haven't seen any arabic Good Arabic. series or no, not good. good Arabic. No, I'm not saying good or bad. I'm, I'm just saying I haven't seen that specific genre, which is uh, like a, the hustler, the James Bond. The yeah, I haven't seen. Any, I don't I ever, know. ever, like, even since I was a little kid, and nothing was like that. I don't think. Uh, yeah. Why yeah. not? We, uh, you have another thing, which is the thirty episode format. Okay. You know what I mean? The 30 the episode. Hmm? The typical thing. Yeah. The 30 episode format, which yeah. is, I think, just it's just torturous for a writer to write 30, 30 episodes. episodes. That's 50 pages for each episode multiplied yeah. by 30. I don't know how much that's yeah. like. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so that's like that's, three seasons. You know I mean? That's like not even it. three seasons. That's six seasons in Game of Thrones. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Like maybe even seven seasons. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's that's insane. That's if, insane. If 30 you want to explain to the audience that yeah. came, if you want to explain to them the 30 episodes, because I don't know if people in the West know yeah. how how our drama is. Yeah. Is, is, like, so I mean, it's just like there's a month every year, and then there's, there's Ramadan mainly. Ramadan, yeah, and yeah. then and then and then, and then it, it's it, there's an episode that comes out every single day. It has to come out every single for day. A, it has for to a whole have, month for the for state, a whole month. Every, you know what I mean? Yeah. 30 episode, this whole idea, you know, of the 30 episode, I think, okay, uh, it's a great month and everything, but why 30 episodes? Like, why 30, why, why not four episodes or five episodes, let's say, every week, one, one episode, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, which yeah. is, which is fine. Yeah. Uh, this 30 episode format, just brainwash the audience into expecting 30 episodes. And then even if there's an episode that there's like, let's say two, two plot points that's happening, yeah. in the, you know what I mean? Uh, you you steal all of my money and I die, for instance, and then yeah. it just stretches out, stretches out to the, you know we see you go to your car and you open your window and you I don't know whatever and then you talk to someone and then you get you go to a coffee shop and then the waiter asks yeah. you what you want to drink and you order coffee and then your coffee's cold and then you start complaining, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 and then yeah, yeah. we see the whole thing and then all we had to see is just you know uh, you you know whatever that con- uh, that that plot point happening with like a bunch of scenes maybe two three and that's it. Not ev- not everything collateral to that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we stretch time so much because we have to. We have to fill in that fifty minutes. You know, what I mean? that fifty minutes has to be filled in. So what do you what do you do as a? Yeah, but but face it, you have to look at it from yeah. from the commercial perspective. That so I think I th- that, that's what I was trying to yeah, say. That they're doing it just to sell advertisements. To they, sell advertisements like because they want people to come every day mm-hmm. to watch the series, to watch the show at seven o'clock. Yeah. To put the most expensive. But you but you're saying they're terrible. What? They're terrible shows. Like you're saying, they're they're not like you haven't ever seen a great. Uh, well, lately, show. I haven't been seeing anything mm. at all. Nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Oh well, I haven't plugged in into anything Arabic, mm. which is not because uh, I think the West is better. But I'm saying currently, I don't think yeah. there's any good product. When I was when I was younger, when 15 years ago, I mean, we sit with my parents to to, to watch the series, uh, the Syrian series and stuff. It was really good comedy. It was really good drama. Everything like had a story, yeah. you know what I mean. Uh, there was the meanings and, and, uh, and actually just maybe a funny show or a funny play. Yeah. Not anymore. Okay. I'm saying these things are continuing to happen. Yeah. It's because strictly business. They want people yeah. to come every day to watch these shows so they can play the advertisement, which yeah. comes every yeah. ten minutes. Yeah. Every ten fifteen minutes. There's but you end up with not s- such a great product. You don't. But I'm saying you're, you're not even gonna give that 
show a chance to no. watch it after let's say Ramadan. No, no, no. But th- that's that's how I feel that like there's going to be a shift in society now. Uh, these big big prod- broadcasters are dependent on on our parents' generation because they really. I don't know about your parents, but definitely my parents don't access Netflix. There's no, oh, okay. they're, not, they're not gonna get into Netflix. So they get, they watch everything. Still, they they go on TV. Yeah, I never go on TV. Hmm. I get everything online. Okay. So when when we become our parents' age, fifty yeah. or sixty years old, we are not watching TV anymore. We are not watching TV now. Hmm. We're not gonna watch TV later. Hmm. Our kids and the next generation are not watching TV. So all this. They're gonna lose out on the business. Like they, they, they cannot depend anymore on commercials that uh, anything would sell. So mm. they have to have a good product mm. to put it on platforms like Netflix, and mm. Amazon, and mm. or YouTube Red, mm. or these things. Because for the meantime, they, you cannot do anything. You cannot change it because there is people watching these TV channels. Mm. We're not, but I'm saying our parents they are watching. So they will give them what whatever you know. What I mean, they just want to fill their time every day for one month to. Watch these episodes, silly, just so they can make money. Hmm. Are they going to make money 10 years from now? Hmm. I don't think so, because 10 years from now, nobody will access. Nobody, I, I don't do it now. 10 hmm. years from now, for sure, hmm. nobody will do it. Even the older generation, sorry to say, would pass away. Hmm. That will keep us, the oldest generation. We're not connected to TVs. We're just connected to Netflix or these platforms. Hmm. So if there's no really good competition, in yeah. terms of the Arabic series, they're not yeah. going to be on there. Mm-hmm. And there's going to be something for Arabs, for sure, 10, 10 years from now, because TVs will, will fade out. Mm-hmm. There's going to be something for, for Arabic content. Mm-hmm. And then they have to fight mm-hmm. and, and, and compete to, to produce something that is just amazing. Because right now, I don't feel like they care enough. Mm-hmm. They're like, yeah, whatever, whatever that series, yeah, people will watch it. Mm-hmm. And if... I mean, I was, I was, I was, I was, uh, I was in. Uh, I played in this Emirati series uh, last Ramadan, and we were still filming in Ramadan, and the show was was airing in Ramadan. Mm. You know, it's just, it's just like because there is, there is, there is hunger. Mm-hmm. People will buy. You know I mean big channels will buy the, the series, mm. and they will play it because there is hunger, which is correct way. This is how you do business. At the end of the day, man, it's all about business. Let's not fool each other here. And at the end of the day, whatever you do, it's about the money. Yeah. So they, they, that's what, what's going on right now. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm saying, but there's going to be a shift. And once that shift happens, mm. then the good writers will compete. And then the good writers will stand out. People like you have been like trying to do something mm. different and writing. Then we, mm. this is where you're going to stand out. Mm-hmm. The chance, I feel like it's coming to everybody right now. Yeah, because still people watching TV. <laughs> But yeah, I feel like it's, it's, it's going to change 100%. Mm. There's no way around it. I don't know if you feel the same way or I don't know what's your perspective, if it's going to change or not. I, uh, I think, uh, look, I work, uh, you know, I work in a TV channel and whatnot. Yeah. You should, by the way, watch our new TV show. What is it? I, I told you, the one on the war on drugs. So When is it coming out? Soon, soon, hopefully, hopefully soon. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know when it comes out. But uh, we're working on it right now, and then uh, it has it has a new format. It's not like your regular degular, you know, TV show, whatever. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a, it's not a it's it's more documentary. It's okay. Not, it's not fictional, not musalsal. Okay. Um, and it's it's f- f- for the greater benefit of the you know f- for our society, and uh, it's. Um, you know, raises a lot of awareness, but really not done in a traditional way. It's not really, it's not a, it's not done in a traditional way. It's what done do in mean? a very, it, it's like we have a very like cinematic approach, like okay. me and my brother and Mo yeah. Ahmed Hamadi. Yeah. Uh, we're doing it in a, we're just like, we broke all the rules, you know what I mean? And we're just doing it in a very, very super cinematic Sicario, you know, kind of, <laughs> yeah, yeah, kind of yeah, yeah. mood, you know what I mean? Because you, got, because you and, and Hamad, I don't know your brother really well, but I know you guys are really good at that. So it's, it's good that you can yeah, actually Yeah, we broke, you know what I mean? Uh, so uh, I, I think even, like, even, even for, our, for, for our channel, uh, it's, not, it's not just TV. There is a 
website where you can just go and like watch the show whenever you want on your phone whenever yeah, at home or on your laptop on your whatever you know there yeah. there is a there's an application for that which i think is great you know what i mean it's like its own uh i don't get it so application for 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 watching the show. you don't need to like plug into tv you don't, you don't need to tune in at like 10 p.m okay, to okay. just watch it. you oh, can so watch it whatever you want you know what i mean okay. which i think is great this whole this website that exists that you can watch or maybe you can watch them back to back what is it called uh, uh, no 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 a one a one a one how do you how do you spell a that w i think it's double a n a one yeah. can we look it up yeah yeah yeah, yeah. a one even the last show that I so did, a, even the last show that I did, Taftish, it's on there. So A1? Is no, it? A A N, I think. A A W? So A W? A W? A A N. Yeah, video on demand. So is Boom. it like the new Netflix or like the Arabic? It's Netflix like our Netflix, it? yeah. Oh, I didn't know about this. <laughs> yeah, you can watch uh, the 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 show whenever you want, however you want it, on your phone or whatever, and. Uh, it's great, you know, even... Yeah. So you pay a subscription? No, 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 it's free. Free? Taftish is on there as well, a by the podcast. way. Shout out to Taftish. Can you, can you add me in there? Do you know any, any of the executives? Yeah, yeah you, let's put, <laughs> let's put uh, who's flying the buy. I mean, do a full do on. It. Yeah, yeah. And so then, it's for free? Yeah, of course, it's for free. Yeah, That's yeah. crazy. I didn't know Yeah, yeah, this. yeah. So who chooses so what to be on there? Like, everything is on there. How do you qualify is on there. there? No, you don't qualify. Everything is on there. It's just categorized. And uh, so, okay, just even even the Musal Salat are on there. See, all the 23 episodes, or wow. whatever the 20. Uh. For the Arabic people watching right now or listening to the show, we are, if you're listening, uh, for the beginning, I'm sure I'm not, I'm not gonna post it on iTunes, but you're gonna be seeing this on YouTube. So basically, this website just allows you. Oh, podcast, you. there you go. Oh, yeah, so I told you. Down, yeah. yeah, I told you. If, if you can add me in there, that'd be great. <laughs> but it's just Arabic, right? It can't be in English. Or how I mean, the, I don't know if you have uh, Weekend Vibes. Oh, there you go. There's something called Weekend Vibes. Yeah. It's, it's, all, it's all the shows and it's on there. Oh, that's crazy. You don't, you don't even need an account. Like, but you don't even need so to. So how like, do they make money then? Hmm? How do they make money? Uh, who, these, these shows? The, 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 this place, what is it called? I want. I want, yeah. What's I want? I want is the, it's just the name. But what it's, does it mean? It's an Arabic name, yeah. I want. Yeah, I want. Okay. Awan. So how does Awan make money? Uh, I mean, it's just like YouTube, you know. There's like those. I think. Ah, there's advertisement. I think. I think that's how. It's that done. Make, that would know. make sense. Yeah. 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 That would make sense. Um. So I think. Do they I, have their own productions? Do they do like? No. Uh, this is our. It's like our. We're done. For instance, with an episode, it directly goes there. You know what I mean? Is that gonna be on TV first? The airing time, I think it's like maybe 30 minutes after. I'm not, I'm not sure, but I think okay. it's 30 minutes after airing time or whatever. And then so the great thing about this is that, you know, you can watch it whenever you want. Okay. When, when yeah, is it coming yeah, up? Yeah. But this, this specific show? show? I don't know. I don't know when is it. Uh, what is know. it called? It's... Uh, <laughs> you can't say it. I'll, I'll say it later. I'll say okay, it later. Okay, fair enough. No, no, yeah. But I mean, like I said, it's on, it's on drugs and, and it's like about... Okay, uh, here's, here's what's going to happen. Um, yeah. We will link it. Yeah, well, that would we will link it once. That's, that's once amazing. You can dis- once we can be able you to know, give everybody it. give us your feedback. I'd like to listen to yeah. your feedback. So, guys, we cannot disclose anything about this show right now, but definitely when it comes out, yeah, I will. I will leave the link below. Yeah, and people can check it out. Yeah, because right now you can't talk much. It's basically on war on drugs. Yeah, it is on drugs. It's with the ministry, uh, ministry of interior, the okay. police, and the police. We never really hung out for this long. Before. Yeah. <laughs> I never yeah. really spoke and I always would talk to you and I was yeah. like okay great and an idea of podcast I would get to know you and the yeah. maybe you, the people and the same and those people in Dubai maybe yeah. don't know much about you either no they one knows know. yeah very underground yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. nobody nah, knows yeah. your character was you like and now they know more and definitely yeah. I would like to keep having you back ah yeah. man man I'd love I, I love this idea man I like and you're very good like you're you're a good listener slash you know conversationalist uh I think I think it's a I think you're the right person. Thank you. I like how it's such an open format. It is, man. It is. It's a very chill. Thing. No, awesome stuff. Uh, Faisal, no for real, man. Please come back. I'm down. Thank you, Faisal. Thank you. I mean, Thank you, my man. Well done. Thank you, guys. Uh, you will see Faisal's details below, and uh, see you next time. See you.